Hello Capricorn, it's your turn for your reading. For the month of April, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I tried to do your reading earlier, but somehow it got cut off and then on the accident. Uh, I deleted it, so... Uh, this is fresh, so... Anyways, I'm shuffling the cards real quick, and then we're going to get into your reading. Hopefully, we'll play what you doing. Because I think that's another problem, too. Taurus video was really long, so I didn't mean to make it that long, but... Uh, anyways... Alright. Sorry about the bed spread. I really need to get the sheet, so... Anyways, Capricorn. First card, we have Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, or Ten of Pentacles, and three, or Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Cups, we have Ace of Swords. We have Four of Swords. And we have Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you've been putting a lot of time and effort into something, Capricorn, whether that's in a family situation, whether that's a work situation, or do you feel like it has to do with your value of something, being seen, recognized, valued, or, you know, maybe you're starting to receive this from people maybe um something that you've been putting in a lot of time and effort i do feel like with the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius um there's a lot of conflict maybe at work maybe in a situation where um maybe justice wasn't due in a situation but i feel like you're moving forward in a new direction um, you got clarity about something, and I also feel like you're trying to recover from something. Um, I do feel like there was a loss of job, and I feel like it was your idea, um, or the need, or somehow something, a loss of something within you. So, I feel like you've been working on a lot of yourself. Um, so you have a lot of options going on right now, whether that's a new type of income, a new set of skills that you're working on. Um, then the, the star card in reverse. Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. Um... Uh, I do feel like when it comes to either or of these, maybe it's an Aquarius, Anna, Aries, or it's someone that has each of these placements, like they're an Aquarius with an Aries moon, possibly, and Taurus rising. I don't know why that came up. Um, I do feel like something was unfulfilling in this situation. You lost control. Um, I feel like you had a lot of options, a lot of things going for you, Capricorn. But maybe you pulled out of the situation because you weren't seeing your value or you feel like you were wasting your time. Um, so I feel like you were in need of change. Maybe that's why on the bottom, the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you were stuck in a situation. Um, but things are changing for you, Capricorn. Uh, I think you're going towards something more solid and stable. Uh, I also feel like a lot of you are now stepping into your power, per se. But I also feel like there's this pull from the energy of the universe. Maybe getting you to slow down your pace and start looking at things from a perspective higher than yourself. And it's about moving forward. So I feel like Capricorns, you're moving forward uh, with passion, with a lot of passion, speaking your truth on something. So the moon here is either 
Well, now it's in reverse, but it's clear. So getting clarity on where you want to take the new things in your life. This cost also could have something cost you, maybe at work or something. Um, I do know a situation came up at work for me that um, someone quit and they were a Capricorn, but it's beside the point. But I do feel like maybe secrets or deception of kind happen with this type of communication. Um, I feel like you're trying to move past something. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So you're looking for new opportunities, something you can expand your horizon. But it's about taking that step, I feel like. Uh, yeah, so you have a lot of new opportunities here for you, Capricorn, to go in a direction. Um, because I feel like your worries, biggest worries right now is money. And you need to decide on what you're going to do exactly. I feel like you know what you want to do. But there's this war, this tug-of-war feeling about going in and out on a situation um, that has to do with your finances. But I feel like you have the right answer soon enough. Uh, let's see what's going on in your love relationships. Alright, justice. So, maybe things are getting balanced in your relationships. You could possibly be dealing with a Libra. Um, I also feel like you're walking away from something. And the first thing when I seen that card was work. You're walking away from something to balance out a situation. Or you walked away from something. Or uh, in order to balance a situation out, you walked away. So you're not taking any forward movement on something. It could have been your relationship at home front. The home front where there was confusion conflicting with two people or situation where you were giving too much in a situation and so maybe you had to balance out the situation by leaving the situation whether that's work home or finances a lot of deception so maybe you were not being honest with something when it comes to something you just recently left if it is a job situation um between you and another person. Maybe with a Leo. Maybe you ended things with a Leo. So I feel like you're cutting them out. Or cutting the situation out. Um, I do have a feeling it was a love interest. Who was a Leo. That you're cutting out something. With that person. Also it could have been a Libra. But I feel like it's more about balancing. So your card came up. The devil card in reverse. So I feel like you're trying to release yourself and free yourself from this situation. So you can take action on something that you really want to be working on. Because maybe you felt for stuck for quite some time. So I feel like you're listening to your intuition on what to do in this situation. Uh, so you have a lot of emotions towards someone or something. If it is a love situation, it could be new love, maybe Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, but I feel like it's a lot of, you're putting your intentions to make the best situation in the given situation you're in. So I feel like you're working on your passion. Getting out of this Eight of Swords um, trouble, maybe even in your head a little bit. Trying to recover from your thoughts and patterns. Uh, I don't know why I'm grabbing two cards. Damn. Um, Page of Pentacles. So revise. I don't know why the word revising the situation because something was a disappointment, or you're afraid of disappointment. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like you're maybe trying too hard, maybe not giving enough to situation because you don't want heartbreak maybe concerning love or relationship you're not putting the time and effort into people or situations because you don't want a heartbreak you feel like you put a lot of time and effort into something so i do feel like it's possibly capricorns or a single that something has really wasted your time or you're afraid of wasting time with people in relationships. 
Um, I do feel like if you're in a relationship, it's about um, getting to this happy place of being really happy with maybe work, home, finances. It's about communication, so maybe you need to work on your communications in your relationships. Um, I also feel like there's a goal, an objective of something when it comes to um, friendships, family, that maybe you need to work on. So communication to work through in that area, um, but you're juggling on wanting, wanting to have success in a situation and you want to expand on something. So maybe the next few weeks. Um, it's about getting closer to your loved ones, getting closer to your um, significant others in your life, building a commitment with those that you trust, and loving yourself. So I do feel like here when it comes to love and relationship, it's about taking an initiative action on reestablishing re yourself being clear on who you want to be and who you want to become and taking time for yourself as well as your uh, committed connections of some kind, whatever that looks like to you, uh, and create the happiness that you want because I feel like there's been a lot of lack and I feel like with this time, you know, I hate to say it, this quarantine time, time to sit back and relax. Um, but I do feel like there's heartbreak of some kind that you're still dealing with or hanging on. It could be past. It could be something that you put a lot of emotions in and investing into things. Um, I feel like there's a decision that you need to be making concerning relationships. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could be a Virgo with a Capricorn moon possibly. Uh, I think it's about reanalyzing your situations with strong connections. Um, let's see. So stepping in your power, I feel like that's what you're doing. I know it sounds like I'm just going through the cards, but I'm just until I feel I need to stop. So, uh, so it's not holding anything back and being true to yourself first of all, and true to yourself. When it comes to dealing with other people, giving and receiving, um, not holding anything for yourself, but willing to step out and create the best life that you can. King of Pentacles, I feel like, is a man who's put a lot of time and effort in blossoming himself and growing himself in a stable and solid environment. And I think that's a way to connect with others as well by sharing your experiences and having the victory in your life in a situation. One more card. Um, putting your whole heart into something. I do feel like when it comes to these relationship Capricorns, I do feel like it's been a struggle um, between, if you are in a relationship, between, you know, balancing that. That's what I'm feeling like when it comes to work and love. Um, but I do feel like in the next little while, you know, you have time to recoup. I feel like a lot of you have been working and staying busy or some of you haven't been as busy as you normally are. But it's giving you time to create when you don't have a lot of time on your hands, I feel like. Usually Capricorns are always busy or they're known to um, be kind of like workaholics. Um, but I do feel like it's going to give you enough time. So try to take these uh, moments yeah. in time and cherish them and cherish your loved ones and um, those you love. Whether that may be a pet of some kind or, you know, take time for yourself again. Three, two. Anyways, see, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.